Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be looking at the all new special edition Leatherman Charge Plus with G10 handle scale models. One in orange and one in red. You know, every once in a while Leatherman will come out with a product that I just have to have. I felt that way about the Mutt when it was released. I, I didn't really need it, but I, I needed it for my collection. It was just I, it was one of those I have to have this multi-tool. I felt the same way about the Raptor when that was released. I said that that's just too cool. I have to have it. And there's been various others, including the second generation Surge when it came out. But that one for a couple different reasons, both for the collection and because that's my personal EDC. And so the upgrades to the Surge were a must-have for me as well. Well, I felt that exact same way about these two special edition Leatherman Charge series. Now, there is one other special edition Leatherman Charge, and that is a camo scaled model, which I don't own. It's black with camo, camo scales. But I, I, the camouflage just really never, never really appealed to me as much as some of these other models have. I must say that over the last few days of messing around with these two Leatherman multi-tools, these brand new charges, I am really liking them. Now, there are a couple of nuanced differences apart from the obvious, which is the handle scales, and we're going to get into that right now. So I've brought in the entire Wave Plus and Charge Plus family with the exception of the one I mentioned before that I don't own, and that is the Camo Edition with uh, black tools. Also there is a Charge Plus model that has a uh, all blacked out tools as well. Now both of those are going to be 154 CM blades. You know Leatherman states, and this is one of the reasons why I always check everything uh, as far as uh, weight, as far as uh, dimension wise, especially when it comes to knife blade links because oftentimes I'll find that there are uh, differences between what the manufacturer says and what I actually either weigh or measure them in at. Well, Leatherman weighs in the, or says that the weight on the new Charge Plus uh, Special Edition G10 models is at 8.3 ounces. That's what the packaging read. And it's not available on the website to check to see what the website would say, but the package says that it's 8.3 ounces. When in fact, it is 7.9 ounces or 226 grams. Now by comparison the Leatherman Wave Plus weighs in at 8.43 ounces or 238 grams. The Charge Plus is 8.28 ounces so just a little bit lighter than the Wave Plus or 235 grams. The Charge TTI, Charge Plus TTI is the heaviest of the group at 8.71 ounces or 248 grams. So I noticed right away before I ever put them on the scale that these new models were considerably lighter than the two charge, their, their charge counterparts. So it is almost, it's 0.8 ounces lighter than that of the Charge Plus TTI and it's about 0.3 ounces lighter than the standard Charge Plus with the aluminum scales. That is the first discrepancy. Other than that, all the measurements are the same as far as the thickness between all the charge models, the overall links, everything remains the same as the regular charge models. For US customers, these two multi-tools are only going to be available as special editions through two separate vendors and will not be available for purchase through Leatherman.com. Now I have heard rumor, but I don't have any confirmation of this and Leatherman won't confirm it that Leatherman will be selling these after a year of selling them as special edition models for these two separate vendors Leatherman will be selling them themselves but again I don't have any confirmation of that now the red one the Leatherman Charge Plus with red G10 handle scales is available through REI at a retail price of $169.99 the orange version is going to be available through Bass Pro Shops Cabela's at a retail price of $179.99. I don't, like I said before, I don't have any confirmation as to whether Leatherman at some point in the future is going to sell them through their website or if they're only going to be exclusive models for those two vendors. Now, late last year, Bass Pro Shops actually bought out Cabela's 
and that's why they are combined now. That's why it's Bass Pro Shops Cabela's. I don't know if in the future they plan on just uh, using both names or if they're going to just go back to Bass Pro Shops only. And for those that know, it, you know, if you've ever heard Tim Leatherman speak, you'll no doubt know that it was Cabela's that gave Tim Leatherman his start back in the early 80s with that very first contract for his multi-tool design for the PST. And quite frank, frankly, without Cabela's, we likely wouldn't have multi-tools as we know them today. So a big thanks to Cabela's. Well, let's get into the differences between these models and their Charge Plus counterparts. I've set the orange version to the side because apart from the color of the scales in the new special edition models, the red and orange models are going to be exactly the same in every other in, in, in every other facet. There is something that I want to show you with the G10 scales that you need to be aware of. So with this red version you can see that I have the outer tools open here and I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on them and you can see there's quite a bit of flex in the middle. I can actually make that move over quite a little bit by just pinching my fingers together. Now it bounces right back and I haven't had it seen it to be a, an issue. And when you're going to be gripping this really hard where you might be pressing into those handles is when it's going to be in its open position. And then you're going to have the outer tools closed, which is going to give it a little bit more rigidity. And so not something that I think is going to interfere with anything. Now, uh, I brought the other two models in here. Here's the Charge Plus with the aluminum scales. And I'll try to do the same thing. And you'll notice it's quite a bit more rigid. So while I can get it to flex just slightly, it, the, the aluminum scales are definitely quite a bit more rigid than that of the G10 scales. And then the titanium version is even more solid than that because titanium is just a more rigid material to start with. And so that is one thing to take note of that the G10 scales are not going to be as structurally strong as the aluminum scales or as the titanium scales. Now, when I first saw these, I wasn't I wasn't certain I was going to like this pattern. I thought it looked pretty nice, but I, I didn't know how I was going to how I was going to like it until I got a hold of them. And I can tell you that I really do like them. They give a really good grip. You get a there's a lot of friction there, and so you really when you grab hold of it, you don't have this sense that it's going to slip out of your hand. It even more grippy than that of the anodized aluminum scales of the regular Charge Plus. That is one thing that I definitely, definitely like. Now, if you've watched my videos on the Leatherman Charge Plus and the Leatherman Charge Plus TTI, one of the things that I actually prefer the Leatherman Charge Plus over the TTI. Now, the Charge Plus is going to have a 154cm blade where the S30V blade is going to be on the on the premium version on the TTI. The reason though, there's actually two reasons why I actually prefer the Charge Plus over the titanium version. The first is the scales make it a bit more grippy and so it feels better in the hand. The second is is this secondary crimper up here. Uh, I just don't like that crimper. It's It really gets in my way more than it is useful and uh, I, you know, I used to have an, an older version of a titanium version, and I really thought that I was going to like that crimper when it first came out. But after having used it for a number of years, it really just is more of a hindrance than it is helpful. And so I prefer the standard pliers as opposed to these pliers. Now, one thing that the G10 versions give us, the special edition versions, is that we're going to get both of the things that I actually like and that is the standard pliers with the upgraded blade steel so we get an S30V blade in this model and that is you know this is going to be one of those things that is going to make this multi-tool more valuable I think they're a little bit overpriced but that's to be expected from special edition models because of the fact that they are special edition they're going to they're going to be a little bit more pricey and so if you want them you just you're just going to have to bite the bullet and and pay the price that they're asking for them. I really think that the price for this from a manufacturing standpoint would probably fall somewhere in between the price of the Leatherman Charge Plus and the 
in the titanium version, the TTI. But again, because they're special edition, you're just going to have to pay the premium price that they're asking for. Now, there's one other difference between the two, or between the three, uh, apart from what we've already mentioned, and that's going to be in the cutters. Now, Leatherman started doing this, and I wasn't sure if they were going to, if moving forward, they were going to incorporate this, but it's, it appears that they are. Now, I don't have these apart, but the P4 and P2 have this exact same thing, where they have a little bit of a thinner profile or a little bit thinner uh, ridge on the top of the cutters or at the front of the cutters, and these are a bit thicker. Now, what that does is, it actually, these cutters are just a touch better. It's not much though. So let me let me grab some wire here so that we can let me cut this and then uh, I'll try to try to illustrate that. It's gonna it's not that noticeable, but there's definitely a difference. Now I just cut this wire here with the Charge Plus version, and now I'm gonna cut this with the G10 version, and then we're gonna compare those. Now you can see that it's it's a little difficult to see, but the second cut over here on the thinner profiled uh, cutters actually cut that wire just a bit cleaner. It's not that noticeable. You really have to be looking at it, but I can definitely tell you that there is a difference there. So these cutters actually do cut just slightly better than their Charge Plus counterparts. Now. One of the things that I think that they should have done, I really wish that they would have made four special edition models. I like the red and I like the orange, but these would have looked great in the format that they're in, plus one that had red scales with all black anodized tools and an orange version, an orange on black as well, and a red on black. I, I think that would have looked fantastic. Uh, they, they don't have that model. They only have what, what you see here for the special editions, but that would have been an even more of a money grab. I'm sure a lot of people would have liked to have a black on red or a black on orange, and I think it would have looked great too, even though I'm not one that, that really gravitates that much towards black oxide tools, but I think those contrasting colors would have looked amazing. Now, Leatherman said they don't have any plans to sell these through their website. They're going to be exclusive for the U.S. customers through REI and, and uh, Bass Pro Shops. But if Leatherman decided to, and I hope that they do after the year or whatever that they're going to sell these to uh, through those two vendors, I think this version would look fantastic in a black scaled model, G10 scaled model, or a tan model. I think that a desert tan would have looked great too, but a Leatherman doesn't have any plans to do that as far as I know. Now, apart from the blade steels, all the other tools within these new G10 models are going to be identical to those of the Charge, and we're, we'll just uh, cycle through them real quick. So you have the bit exchanger with a reversible bit here. You have the Eagle Claw combination tool that has your wire strippers, can opener, bottle opener. On the opposite side, you're going to get your large flat quarter inch screwdriver, you're going to get your micro driver, and then you get your scissors. And then for the outside tools, obviously we have the S30V main blade steel. Very nice knife shape on those and very, very sharp out of the factory. Then we have the saw. On the opposite side, we have the file with diamond coated side and then cross cut with edge file, excuse me, here's the edge file. And then the last one is, oops, the last one is our serrated blade with integrated cutting hook, which is a feature that I love in the charge. Uh, I actually, I wish the Surge had a version that had this hook in it as well because there, it, it can be very, very, very useful. Well, these are a look at the G10 scaled special edition Leatherman Charge Plus models and I gotta tell you these things are just fantastic I definitely recommend these multi-tools I love the grip on them I love how they feel so much lighter and you know they're gonna come with all the same accessories too as the other charge models you're gonna get the same pouch you're gonna get the same bit sleeve that gives you 12 additional bits 
and you're going to get the pocket clip that comes with it and the separate lanyard ring that comes with it. So you get some good value with this multi-tool, with either one of these multi-tools. Again, the orange version available at Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, the red version available at REI. This has been my review of the new special edition Leatherman Charge Plus models with G10 handle scales. I hope you enjoyed it. And if man, if you got the money, go get you one if you can afford it. These things are great. I really do like them. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.